Good morning, everyone. We're so glad you guys are able to join us this morning for our spelling bee. Um, I am not going to read all 10 pages of rules, but I am going to read a few of them just so we're all on the same page, okay? All right, and boys and girls, we're so excited you guys are here. You're going to do a great job today. All right, a spelling bee is conducted in rounds, and each speller remaining in the spelling bee at the start of a round spells one word. The pronouncer will pronounce the words and provide word information as listed in the comp competition list. So you will hear me say things like, this word has a homonym, okay? And so, or if you need me to give you a sentence or a definition, you let me know, all right? Um, if I tell you the word has a homonym, don't jump in and start spelling right away. Like, let me give you the part of speech, let me give you the definition, okay? All right, the judges, these lovely ladies here, uphold the rules and determine whether words are spelled correctly. They also render final decisions on appeals in accordance with Rule 9. The judges encourage spellers to face them when pronouncing and spelling a word. Judges listen carefully to the speller's pronunciation of the word in the spelling rounds. If they sense that the speller has misunderstood the word, the judges work with the speller and pronouncer until they are satisfied that reasonable attempts have been made to assist the speller in understanding the word. The judges are not responsible for a speller's misunderstanding. The judges will disqualify a speller who refuses to request the request to start spelling, who does not approach the microphone when it's time to receive the word, who or whose family engages in conduct that does not promote fair, honest rivalry, courteous relations, and graceful acceptance of competition results, who in the process of retracing a spelling alters the letters or sequence of letters from those first uttered, who in the process of spelling utters unintelligible or nonsense sounds. So if you're spelling dog and you say D-A-D-O, that is considered a misspelled word, okay? The judges may not disqualify a speller for failing to pronounce the word either before or after spelling it, for asking a question, for noting or failing to note the capitalization of a word, the presence of a diacritical mark the presence of a hyphen or other form of punctuation or spacing between words in an open compound. So if you forget the hyphen, it's okay, all right? The speller makes an effort to face the judges and pronounce the word for the judges before spelling it and after spelling it. The speller makes an effort to pronounce each letter distinctly and with sufficient volume to be understood by the judges. The speller may ask the pronouncer to say the word again, define it, use it in a sentence, provide the part of speech, provide the language of origin, and or provide an alternate pronunciation or the pronunciations as listed in the pronunci uh, pronouncer's competition list. The speller does not need to note capitalization of word, presence of diacritical marks, presence of hyphens, or other forms of punctuation or spacing between words in an open compound. To be judged as correct and move on to the next round, the speller must provide the correct letters in the correct order. All right, so end of B, when we get all the way down to the last few people. If none of the spellers remaining in the spelling bee at the start of a round spells a word correctly, all remain in the competition and a new round begins. All spellers eliminated in the same round are tied for the same place. All right, if only one speller spells correctly in a round, a new spelling round begins and the speller has been given or is given an opportunity to spell a word on the list. That's the anticipated championship word. If a speller succeeds in correctly spelling the anticipated championship word in this round, the speller is declared the champion. Okay, so if you do misspell a word, boys and girls, don't go sit down. I mean, don't go sit down. Do go sit down. Don't go out there. Okay, we'll tell you at the end of the round, we'll dismiss you to go sit down. Works? Okay, here we go. The word is wag. Wag. W-A-G. Wag. Good. And as soon as she turns to leave, number two, come on up. This word has a homonym. The word is find. It's a verb to come upon something. F find. F I N D. Find. Okay. Come on up. As soon as she turns away. Good job, guys. The next word is later. It has a homonym. It's an adverb. At some time after a given time. Later. L-A-T-E-R. Later. Okay. Good. Next. This word has a homonym. Bike. 
It's a verb to ride a vehicle that has two wheels, one behind the other. Bike, B I K E, bike. Okay. Your word is deal. Deal, D E A L. Okay. Wake. Wake, W A K E. This word has a homonym. The word is tune. It's a noun, a musical composition. Tune, T-U-N-E, tune. This word has a homonym. It's a noun, a network of uniformly spaced horizontal and perpendicular lines. Grid. Grid, G-R-I-D, grid. This word has a homonym. It's the word wow. It's an interjection used as an exclamation of happiness. Wow, W-O-W. -W. This word has a homonym. The word is sips. It's a plural noun, small tastes of a drink. Sips, S-I-P-S. Heap. Could, could you use it in a sentence? Carter picked up the heap of clothes on the floor and put them in the hamper. Heap, H-E-E-P. You're not out, because this is the practice round, okay? All right, your word is nest. Nest, N-E-S-T. This word has a homonym, rude. It's an adjective, offensive in manner or action. Rude, R-U-D-E, rude. This word has a homonym, ladder. It's a noun, a usually portable structure for use in climbing up or down. Ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R. This word has a homonym, sky. It's a noun, the space surrounding the earth. Sky, S-K-Y. This word could have a homonym. His, it's an adjective relating to him as possessor or owner. His, H-I-S, his. This word also has a, it's okay if your paper fell off, hon. don't worry about it. This word also has a homonym, hard. It's an adjective, not easy. H-A-R-D, hard. This word has a homonym. Roads, it's a plural noun. The parts of the streets over which cars and other traffic move. Roads, R-O-A-D-S, roads. This. Uh, this, T-H-I-S. This word has a homonym. It's park. It's a noun, a piece of land maintained by a city or town. Park. P-A-R-K. Park. This word has a homonym. The word is May. It's a noun, the fifth month of the year. M-A-Y. Open. O-P-N. You may have said it, but you said it so fast we didn't hear it. So it's O-P-E-N. Just so make sure every letter is distinct. Okay? All right, this word has a homonym. Four is an adjective being one more than three in number. F-O-U-R. This word also has a homonym, dots. It's a plural noun, small round marks. Dots, D-O-T-S, dots. All right, give yourselves a hand. You made it through the practice round. Nice job. Okay, any questions before we start the real words? No? 
All right, number one, come on up. Ooh. I nearly pulled my microphone off. You ready? Yes. Judges, are you ready? We're starting on word 451. All right, here we go. Brunt. Brunt. Can you please use it in a sentence? The houses close to the shore bore the brunt of the damage from the storm. Uh, can I please have a definition also? It's the main force, shock, or stress. Brunt. B R U N T. Brunt. Thank you. This word has a homonym. It's adult. It's a noun, one that has reached full maturity. Adult. A D U L T. Adult. Tweak. T W E A K. Impish. Can you use it in a sentence? Troy's impish behavior is not tolerated at his new school. Can I have the definition? It is relating to a person who behaves mischievously. I am P E Outsider. Outsider? Uh, o U T S I D E R. Thank you. Get a little closer to the mic, okay, guys? All right, here we go. Already. Oh. <clears throat> Already. A L R E A D Y. Already. Spoilers. Spoilers. S P O I L E R S. Mainstay. Can, I, can you please use it in a sentence? Cindy was the mainstay of the drama troupe. Mainstay. M A I N S T A Y. Open the microphone back up. Just so it doesn't fall. Perfect. Thank you. All right. This word has a homonym. Sought. It's a verb. Went in search of, looked for, or searched for. Sought. Sought. S O U G H T. Sought. This word has a homonym bootleg. It's a noun, an unauthorized audio or video recording. Bootleg. B O O T L E G. Leg. You can move the microphone up. Hun. <coughs> there you go. Hampered. Uh, H A M P E R. Hamper. You're okay. There you go. Falsehood. Falsehood. F A U L S E H O O D. Falsehood. Rewarding. Um, rewarding. R E W A R D I N G. 
Laundry. Can you repeat that? Laundry. Laundry. L-A-U-N-D-R-Y. Laundry. Flawed. Flawed. F-L-A-W-E-D. Flawed. Redeeming. Redeeming. R E E F D I N G. Harshened. Can you say it again, please? Harshened. Harshened. H A R S H E N E D. Decide. Decide. D E C I D E. Decide. Lobster. Lobster. L O B S T E R. Lobster. Apparently. A P P A R E. N T L Y. Apparently. Shoddiness. Shoddiness. S H O T T Y I E N S. Knowingly. Could you say it in a sentence? Yes. The physician was indicted for knowingly defrauding the government. K N O W E L I N G. This word has a homonym, massive. It's an adjective, weighty or heavy. M-A-S-S-I-V-E. Underpinning. Can you repeat it? Underpinning. Underpinning, U-N-D-E-R. P U T T E R. All right, boys and girls, give yourselves a hand. That's the end of round one. Nice job. All right, the rest of you, round two. Let's start with speller number one. Okay, guys, you have to sit quietly, though. Okay, thank you. Here we go. This word has a homonym, lawful. It's an adjective meaning rightful or possessed by just claim. Can you please use it in a sentence, please? Canton declared that although there might be a rival claim, he was the only lawful king of the playground. Lawful, L-A-W-F-U-L, lawful. Next. This word has a homonym, kindle. It's a verb to start a fire. Can you use it in a sentence? Russell watched closely while his scoutmaster showed him how to kindle a fire with flint and steel. Kindle, K-I-N-D-E-L, kindle. Fail safe. Can you please use it? Engineers made sure to include a fail-safe device in the nuclear weapon. F-A-I-L-S-A-F-E. Acid. Acid, A-C-I-D. Advice. 
Advice. A D V I C E. Advice. Saddlebag. Could you repeat that? Saddlebag. Uh, could you use that in the sentence, please? Tex emptied his saddlebag onto the table. Saddlebag. S A D D L E B A G. Saddlebag. Tabloid. Tadboid. Can you please can you please give me the definition? It's a small, profusely illustrated newspaper characterized by sensationalism. Can you please use it in a sentence? Amaya was intrigued by the tabloid article about the government cover-up of alien contact. Tadboid. T-A-D-B-O-Y-E-D. -E tadboid. Orange. Orange. O R A N G E. Orange. This word has a homonym. Clause. It's a noun, a distinct article or stipulation in a formal document. Uh, can you repeat it? Clause. Clause, C-L-A-U-S-E, clause. Lodger. Um, can you use it in a sentence? Ilsa and James took in a lodger to make a little extra money. Um, lodger. L-O-D-G-E. U R E. Similar. Um, similar. S I M I L A R. Similar. This word has a homonym. It's referee. It's a noun, an official in a sports contest. Referee. R E F E R E E. Self-reliant. S-E-L-F-R-E-L-I-A-N-T. Detachment. Detachment. D-E-T-A-T-C-H. M E N T. Pigment. Pigment. P I G M E N T. Pigment. So this word has a homonym. It's faddish. It's an adjective cons uh, consisting or resembling a pursuit or interest. F A D D. I S H Compression. Can you use it in a sentence? Herb's abdominal pain wasn't caused by a celiac artery compression as he initially thought. C O M P R E S H I O N. Compression. All right, give yourselves a hand for round two. Nice job. Okay, let's start round three. Give these guys a chance to have a seat. Have a seat, please. Okay, go ahead. All right, here we go. This word has a homonym, polarized. It's a verb to have an opinion at the opposite ends of beliefs. 
Polarize. P O L E R I Z E. Polarize. Insightful. I N C I T E F U L. Consumerism. Consumerism. Can you say the sentence? Gunner's mom took one look at the clothing spilling out of his closet and told him that his rampant consumerism needed to stop. Can you tell me the definition? It is a preoccupation with and an inclination toward buying economic goods. Consumerism. C O N S U M E R I S M Financial. Financial. F I N A N C I A L. Financial. Hydrate. Hydrate. H Y. D R A T E hydrate compelled compelled Compelled. C O M P E L L E D. Octopus. Octopus. O C T O P U S. Octopus. Desist. Can you repeat that? Desist. Can you use it in a sentence? The officer told the homeowner that he would have to desist from having loud parties. And the definition. It is to refrain from or forbear continuing an action, activity, or endeavor. Desist. D E C E I S T. Desist. Maggot. Maggot. M A G G O T. Sphere. S P E A R. Sphere. This word has a homonym. Bassist. It's a noun. A person who plays an acoustic or electric member of the family of instruments having a lower range. Uh, bassist, B A S I S T. Expertise. E X P E R T I S E. Okay, congratulations. You all made it through round three. If you misspelled a word, you can go ahead and head to your seat. Here we go. Validates. 
validates V A L I D A T E S. Merciful. Merciful. M E R C I F U L. Merciful. Decentralize. Um, could you give me the definition? To disperse or distribute the functions of powers. Decentralize. D E C E N T R A L I Z E D decentralized. Inadequate. Inadequate. I N A D E. U-A-T-E, and adequate. Fibbery. Can you repeat that? Fibbery. Fibbery. F-I-B-B-E-R-Y. Disperse. Oh, go ahead. Disperse. Dispersal. Dispersal. D I S P E R S A L. Cumulate. Oh, sorry, I said that word wrong. My apologies. Cumulative. C C U M M U L A T I V E. Okay, very good. That's the end of round four. So we're going to start round five. Lavish. Lavish. Can you put that in the sentence? Although the lavish buffet at her sweet 16 party included lobster, caviar, and truffles, London opted to eat a grilled cheese sandwich. L A V. I S H Fiendishly 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 F I E N D I S H L Y Fiendishly This word has a homonym, forerunner. It's a noun, a sign or symptom giving warning or notice. Uh, could you use that in a sentence, please? The dip in the price of the stock was a forerunner of serious problems at the company and was soon followed by its complete collapse. Forerunner. F O. R E R U N N E R. This word has a homonym. It's envelope. It's a noun, a flat, flexible, usually paper container. Envelope. E N V E L O P. E. 
envelope. Discipline. Discipline. D I S C I P L I N E. Very good. That's the end of round five. Nice job, guys. We're going to go right into round six. I don't think we had any misspelled words that time either. Great. Here we go. Ferocity. Ferocity or ferocity? Ferocity. Ferocity. But then the sentence. Ellen was shocked by the ferocity with which her tiny puppy growled at the Great Dane. Put the definition. It's savage, wildness, or fury. F U R O C I T Y. Candidacy. Candidacy. C A N D I D A C Y. Candidacy. Stodgy. Could, could, could you use that in a sentence, please? <laughs> yes. Helene suckily said that she had no interest in going to their stodgy party, or stodgy party, stodgy. Did I say that word wrong the first time? No? Okay, stodgy. Stodgy. S-T-O. Why? Leaflet. Leaflet. L E A F L E T. Leaflet. Freewheeling. Can you give me a definition? It's relatively heedless of forms, rules, responsibilities, or consequences. Freewheeling. F-R-E-E-W-H-E-E-L-I-N-G. All right, nice job, guys. That is the end of round six, so starting round seven. Rancid. Rancid. R A N S C I D. Rancid. Treasonous. Treasonous. T R E A S O N O U S. Treasonous. Feasible. Feasible. Uh, feasible. F E A S I B L E. Very nice, guys. We're going to start round eight. Let's give a round of applause to you guys. We go all right so we are in that final round okay as long as we keep spelling words correctly we both stay in the round here we go curtail uh can you use that in a sentence the students were warned that their grades would be affected if they did not curtail their disruptive behavior curtail c u r t a i l
Indices. This word has a homonym. It's a plural noun, usually alphabetical lists that include items covered in printed works. Indices. Indices? Indices. Can you use that in a sentence? Imani's teacher told her that a great way to speed up research is to check the indices of books that mentions her topic. Indices. I N D E C I E S. Okay, so this is round nine. This is the championship word round. So come on up. If you spell this word correctly, you're a champion. Okay, here we go. This word has a homonym. Rot. It's an adjective worked into shape by artistry or effort, fashioned or formed. Rot. W-R-O-U-G-H-T. Rot. Very good. All right, we have a champion, guys. Why don't you come on up? Would you go to the microphone, tell everyone your name and whose teacher you have. My name is Eli and my homeroom teacher is Miss Inman. Congratulations, Eli. <laughs> Nicely done. And then runner up, come on up and introduce yourself as well, please. Uh, I'm Ken <laughs> uh, um, my homeroom teacher is Mr. Moore. All right, congratulations. <laughs> Very proud of you guys. And parents, we want to thank you so much for being here. Our champion, um, Eli, will be representing us at the District Spelling Bee. Um, and then we'll have you prepared to be a runner-up as well for there. Okay? Just in case Eli can't make it. All right. Yes. If you were in the Spelling Bee, come on up to the front. We want to grab a picture of you guys really quickly. Okay? And then we'll get a picture of the winners as well. Congratulations, guys.